Hello everybody and welcome, holy crap this game started fast, to the Learn Dota 2 League Season 17 quarterfinals. Today we're taking a look at Rylai's Rissleback Ribs, the Space Cowboy team, taking on Blade Fury Burgers, the Wizard team, a direct rematch from our uh, ill-fated Week 1 series. With me here as always is the Doctor of Dota, Randy. And the not Doctor of Dota, Princess. What happened? Uh, Lambert's bored already. He's bored because they banned drug and he wanted to play drug. What can you do? Was there 2 0 in week 1, huh? Oh, there was a four, there was an FF for one of the games. There was almost an FF this week, too. Yeah, I was, uh. <laughs> I was so unready for this game to start. I'm just now typing everybody's ad copy. Okay. So yeah, Space Cowboy Wizard, two teams, very different trajectories going into this game. No, actually two very similar trajectories, because these are both teams that had a very strong opening to their season, right? Very strong, well, you know, Space Cowboy not week one, but like, very strong first half overall. Then kind of started slipping on the back half of the bracket. I mean, Riley's Rustleback Ribs is coming here after getting... I mean, they didn't get 2 0 by in the pool, but they got completely steamrolled in the one game that they did have, and then in the pool had FF, so that can't feel too good. Wizard team has been just getting whipped on the last half this season. They they got all their winning done early. So it'll be interesting to see who rebounds here, because one of these guys, of course, has to rebound. By definition, there has to be a winner for this series, of course. One of these teams gonna hit that rebound today. Be interesting to see who, because I think, um,. Even though this is a middle bracket contender, I do think both of these teams were underperforming for a minute. They have been underperforming for a while. And I think uh, a good victory, get the morale back up, get the cobwebs shaken out, could definitely be a, uh, a launching pad to victory, potentially. Dire team pick. Yeah, I was saying in the pregame before we uh, cast went live, but I think all this season a lot of the teams are pretty close, like skill-wise. There's not like a team that's far and above better than everybody. So yeah, I think it, I'd agree. If you just keep winning, you can you can just win. Yeah, I think oh, I think we're not we're not bad from the league. What do you think? True. I, I think the bottom three teams kind of uh, did feel like they were generally behind the uh, the rest of the bracket, but yeah, I could definitely have seen. I could even have seen you guys winning. Ultimately, I think uh, if you had gotten eight seed, I don't know if I favor you against Nick in like one game, but like even even like your team, the Big L team, was like at least potentially able to, to do it. I think. Yeah, we got caught at the end. Unfortunately, it was a little too late, but it happens. It's like the Esper team back in uh, season 12. Primals. Primal Beast vs. Coming out first things first here. The the continuing. The continuing first picks of the VS are interesting to me in LD2O because it's like, I feel like this hero is not successful enough. Yeah, it's very interesting. I feel like this hero is not successful enough at the LD2O level that it makes sense to me to first pick it so frequently that it, it makes sense to me for this hero uh, to be this contested. It's like a primal counter, right? Uh, kind of. You, you just swap whoever's getting bash. Yeah, but I don't you think they're going on those two, so it's uh, you know, both worlds. Ten seconds remaining. Oh, I have a whisper from a spam bot on Twitch. How fascinating! Yeah, the primal beast. Funnily enough, I was talking with somebody uh, named Randy about this primal beast just last night. You know, it does feel like... I, I do wonder if maybe a little bit of the Wizard team's lack of success in the later half is due to this hero in particular, because it feels like there is a lot of... Um, there's a lot of games for Ice that go the same way, where he just owns on the Primal Beast, he 1v5s for, like, half a century, and then he, like, slips one time, he takes one death, and after that one death, he's just never relevant again. The hero as a mid feels like it falls off really dramatically. Radiant he feels like you have to pick really well around and I don't know if they really have been picking or banning well around in the last few weeks. 
Radiant team pick. Be interesting to see if they can break that curse here. On. Yep, Space Cowboy Dawnbreaker. Is there any terrible promo for this game? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah, I don't. It's hard to burst people right now with Avenged on the other team, unless one of them is the one getting caught out. Yeah, and I, w I was just talking about how the, the Primal Beast already feels like a little less than. I feel like maybe this game, you just say, Hey, Ramanolo, you want to have a fun Primal Beast game and go with something else at mid, maybe? The VS, I mean, who knows? We see, like, VS is a high execution factor hero, so you might have... Okay, I guess that, that's out of the cards. VS is a high execution factor hero, so you might have, like, a situation where, like, the VS player is just not gonna deliver on it. You know, you, we've seen some VSs creep their own teams, right? There is definitely a, ca a capacity to not deliver on the VS, to not just, like, get the perfect swap every time. Even when it seems obvious to an outside spectator, you know, that does take some practice. The Dawnbreaker, you know, is going to do good. Because Space Cowboy has played this hero like half this season anyway. He, he knows how to do this guy, right? He knows how to run this guy, so. Radiant team pick. Crystal See him, hmm? I think the Space Cowboy team is going to need to really draft some damage here. I don't think I don't see them being able to get through Primal Beast and an Underlord right now with their heroes. That's not exactly damage. To to some degree, I agree. On on the other hand, it feels like the only damage, like once the Primal Beast falls off, which in fairness does take a while, but once that Primal Beast falls off, the only damage that they do have is the CM, and it is up oh, hitching a little bit here. It is sort of frequently a scenario to see uh, the Primal Beast, like, not do anything for quite a while early game anyway. I think the, the Stampede's not really great into the Underlord uh, pit in the CM. Um, what is it? Is it Frostbite the Root? I yeah, I think it's fine. I mean, it's like any any stun, that's the case, right? The yeah. Pit Lord, the Pit of Malice is really short. The Frostbite is, like, the nastier target. That's one, right? So... If you're looking to stampede away from a team with zero stuns, you're already... I think you're already well in the clear, right? <laughs> I wonder what they're going to pick here. If they go with their carry, because they... You see the... your core matchup, at least. You don't see your carry... carry matchup. Yeah, you see what you're landing against. It is a pretty... it is a pretty rough, uh... Well, you don't see what you're laying against because you see the you see the pit lord. You probably don't see the pause four. You already know to a good degree what's going to lane well onto the pit lord. Anti mage. Anti mage not particularly on that list. He will definitely struggle in the early game against the pit lord. Not even just like um, not not even for getting like Are run we? over. I think anti mage cares about early game and the thing. Like, well, the problem is, is that if you're if you're the 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 issue that anti mage is going to have in this lane is not going to get getting killed. It's going to be getting lasted. He's one of the most vulnerable heroes in the game to uh, the pit lord E. Here comes Ricky, one of the most vulnerable heroes in the game to the pit lord E. And uh, if he gets like a super slow battle fury and Ricky is able to come in to the like start hunting him early on, which is a def definitely like, reasonable possibility, it can be pretty rough. Five seconds so that's kind of what they're looking at, right? Like, the Ricky, Primal, Underlord, or all cores that are, like, mid-game active, and the Anti-Mage has to, like, survive that and carry the game and delay the game so they don't end. Yeah, the good news is, is that if there's any patch where the strategy of delay the game forever is going to be possible, it's this one. Big downside is that I do feel like you can make this anti-mage, like, th th this team can make this anti-mage's life a living hell. I like how they're picking a P4 Blast, by the way. This team can make the anti-mage's life kind of a living hell in this game, I think. Like, the Pit Lord is going to ba basically mean, unless he is, like, not leveled in his passive, or else, or he is playing the lane really incorrectly, like, 
Anti Mage is gonna really suffer for getting last hits. Like it's it is super easy to deny against the guy, right? And he's got he's not like that great at actually killing you, especially now with the VS, right? That's like you get raindrops and you're not afraid of that anymore at all. You know the um... so he's gonna have a late battle fury. Ricky against the Centaur and the Dawnbreaker. Unless he feeds into that hammer a lot, is probably going to get, like, flash farming faster than the AM. And if this team can keep the thumb down on him, then it doesn't matter how long they hold out. You know, you this team could feasibly keep the Anti-Mage at the bottom of the net worth chart for a long time, and that is not where Anti-Mage wants to be. I think this is a really hard AM game right now. It also seems like a really nice Ricky game. They don't have, like, any, like instant stun that he can, can't can dodge with his uh his e and his tricks i think it's tricks of the trade is the actual name but uh like yeah it's like lambert is probably quick enough with his fingers to dodge all these stuns smoke cloud is really sad for a lot of these heroes it's, and then like he's got these heroes with him that are you, think, you can't also can't go on so and here's the undying they're going to be picking their mid-last. Poor Ice is probably not going to be a decisive factor in this game. If there, if there is one major weakness with the wizard lineup as it stands, Poor Ice is probably not going to be a major factor in their in this game. I mean, this, this already looks like a dreadful Primal Beast game, and now they get to counter his lane too, right? Like... <laughs> Kind of uh, rough. It, I think it's hard though, because you you have to think you there's also an Underlord and a Ricky in the game, so like if you pick to win lane, it might like just be a bad hero in the game though. So it's like I think it's. A really I mean, hard yeah, that's true. Hero. On the other hand, it's not really that hard to pick a guy who beats Primal Beast in lane and is also useful in in the rest of the game. It really just comes down to you know. Somebody who's going to buy probably four staff early yeah, enough to not care about the Ricky uh, smoke cloud, or has some other way of dealing with it, it or not care about it. But there's not a staff hero. It's or not a. Have to hope Menge's always there to save you. Yeah, there's not really many, um, not really many heroes in the game that are going to be like, okay, Razor, interesting. This guy, um, doesn't feel like a hero. Right now, I think so far in LD in this season of LD2L, Razor has been picked like five times, every time by somebody who knows how to play him, and has won once. Actually, against you, Princess. That there was that. This guy feels like super not a hero. Was it against me, or did I pick it? I think it was against you. I think it was Lambert picked it. I know Lambert is the one who won. Oh, on that. yeah, 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 he did. So. Yeah, this guy feels like very much not a hero in LD2L, at the very least. I don't know how much I favor him in this game. I don't like him super much into the uh, into the Ricky in particular. Like, you leash Ricky and he just, like, blinks somewhere else in one second, right? Like, that doesn't work. I don't like him that much against the Undying, either. As weird as that matchup is, he's a pretty bad Tombstone hitter. In fact... Really, the only hero they have that's good at hitting the Tombstone is Anti-Mage. He's probably not somebody you want doing that, you know? Yeah, Razor's gonna need, I think, like, three items before he can really fight this game. Unless they win all their lanes. Yeah, it's... The Razor can kind of take over, and they don't really have good ways to, like, stop other than Underlord. Well, here's what I'm thinking with that from, right? The big problem that he has is that he's as vulnerable to uh, to the smoke cloud as the rest of his team is, and he does not have like an easy way to leash the Ricky, and that's two pretty nasty problems. You can leash the the uh, primal beast and make him completely miserable, but it's like if he's playing okay, immediately pause. If he's playing things right, he's also got a way to disengage from that on the onslaught. They did not respect the buybacks once again. Water break, okay. Like, uh, Ice can, uh, can charge with the Onslaught whenever he gets, uh, hit with it, if he's got it up. Or he can just charge in at an awkward time and interrupt things to begin with. Ramanolo can just kind of stop him in his tracks. The Tombstone is, like, really rough for him. Tombstone plus the Decay, he's already 
fairly squishy for what, you know, he's, like, usually picked to do. So, Decay, gonna be rough for him. I mean, I feel like they can't, like, all these things do need some, okay. Somebody loves Princess, it's, it's Lambert. Okay, I guess that makes sense. It's Lambert and Ice, actually. Princess, how do you respond to the allegations of Princess and a heart being drawn on the main map? Oh, very pog. I I wish you hadn't have said that. The uh, the razor himself, I feel like. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's just too much that either breaks his leash or slows him or like both. I would like to request Don't no sack second. cry all chats, please. I don't know what that means. But uh shout outs to Sakurai. Yeah, scary. scary all chats. I, I think I he just I think he just really hates Sakurai. He doesn't want to hear any more updates about Smash Brothers. I mean, even if even if uh, Razor didn't have the pit to get through, didn't have the uh, leash break abilities on the other two cores, and the tombstone, which he kind of hates, even if it wasn't for all that, this hero still just feels like it sucks, right? Like, oh, they're switching lanes. Yeah, they are. The Space Cowboy team just by default has to switch the lanes up because they could not get a stand into their act for the actual no, role. No, 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 the Ricky's going off lane. Ricky's going by. Interesting. Huh. So the Underlord Damn. does a little lane into reach, question mark? Yeah, I'm not really sure what that's about. I don't think I uh, like that idea, to be honest with you. I think I definitely prefer to see, uh, you know, at the very least, like maybe, um, no, nah, the CM's not going to do any better into that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the Ricky is trying to dodge these two at top. I think that's a decently likely prospect, but yeah. I feel like you're giving Anti-Mage too much of a game doing this, and that's a little rough. Lambert, why dodge me? Great question. With that chat line now being said, it's time for everyone's favorite part of the whole cast, the roll call. So, on Rylai's Bristleback Ribs, pause one, standing in for what is usually their pause three, you have Inno on the Anti-Mage. Pause two, you have Venus on the Razor. Pause three, you've got Phoenix, formerly known as Didge, currently known as Centaur War Runner. Pause four, captain of the team, you got Space Cowboy on the Dawnbreaker. And pause five, you got Shepherd Stone, formerly known as Luke's, on the Vengeful Spirit. On the other side of the coin, on the. on team, I'm looking to the wrong lane, on team uh, Blade Fury Burkers. Pause one, you've got Lambert on the Ricky. Pause two, you've got Ice on the Primal Beast. Pause 3, you've got Ramanolo on the Pit Lord. Pause 4, you've got DJ Curry Spice on the Undying. And pause 5, you got Captain of the Team Wizard on the Crystal Maiden. Well, and I so have all but one last hit in his lane and has 5 denies. What's going on? Uh, He's owning this lane? Razor just didn't use Static Wing for a little bit, which I think really uh, made it hard, because Razor's only got like. 55 or 56 damage or something like that, and Primal Beast has like 80, so hard to last. That. Especially, yeah, I didn't notice he's a Dorito on the hero, so he probably doesn't play that much. Or right, that, or he doesn't have Dota Plus. Also true. Can I see what level he is? No, I don't level think he can in games. Oh, you can? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, level 3. Yeah, that's so a little just, awkward. I, I think he got the Hula Hoop level 1. Yeah, that makes sense. You want you can get your range creep with it. Yeah, unfortunately, I think that's about all he got with it, though. Ooh, confrontation down there at bot. Anti mage just barely scraping away from it. Very near first blood situation. Anti mage uh, does have some tangos, but is going to have to spend a little time being careful here. Look at this giant wave that Centaur War Runner gets over here. Holy crap. Oh, uh, now he has to uh, sit in the. Oh my god, he almost died, actually. Yeah, it's hard to sit in that pit in the. Uh, undying there. Yeah, they, the... if they used skin, they might have killed him. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking there. You know, this is, uh, this is a very great looking lane for Undying. <laughs> Momentum. This is a great looking lane for Undying. The, um... The tombstone. Neither of these guys can do anything about the tombstone. Like that, those those things are going to be completely safe. They're gonna like kill anybody who tries to kill it before they get them. Cause both of these heroes have some pretty abysmal attack speed. Oh no, Centaur doesn't know the new build. He went. He's going Vanguard. Oh nice, Vanguard against. I mean, hey, in fairness, it does completely stop the uh, nine zombies, which are. Not going to get first blood like I thought they were, but going to get pretty close to it. Centaur does get the uh, the tombstone back there. Loses about half his HP again for it. Anti Mage started this lane against the Ricky at a big deficit, but it is catching up now. Oh no, CM is going to die. He just got counterspelled to death, basically. Here comes the Smoke Cloud. The Space Cowboy, the Dawnbreaker, has oh, come into this lane, but... Unfortunate. There's nothing else. The good news is, is that uh, Centaur, without the Undying physically present there, is currently managing a pull. Uh, Venus at mid is uh, getting killed. Oh man. Look at that, 70 HP. If Razor has to be very careful here, if one of these buttons comes off a cooldown for uh, Primal Beast, he's in vision, he's just dead. He's going to the uh, bounty rune here. He's going to get it as well. Bound Breaker back in time again. Be really big. If he doesn't, if he gets it on Primal, I think Razor's gonna die. Wizard, once again, burning up, and the uh, VS gets away, just TP's out. This, I, I'm starting to sour on this lane swap. I, I was not a fan of it initially, and I'm more not a fan of it in practice. This CM being just straight up food for the anti-mage is like super bad. Like one of the big, uh, one of the big ways, one of the big prospects that this team wins. One of the reasons I favor this draft is because Anti Mage should get shredded in this lane, or at least not get shredded, but should have no last hits against old Pitlord, right? But he's not laying it against Pitlord. He's laying it against Ricky, and they're they have the exact same amount of last hits. And Anti Mage has two more kills, which favors his Battle Fury timing very heavily. Means he's going. Actually, Ricky's not going for it at all. So he's going like so super early game. Tombstone causing issues. Oh my God, Ramanolo getting uh, getting body blocked there by the <laughs> by the zombies. Yeah, tombstone causing issues are both teams. What so can you do? Got the solo kill with his ult. Yeah, I just demolished this lane. Uh, Space Cowboy, um... <laughs> kind of put himself into a bad position there. Let himself take a fall to the Pet Lord. Who's, uh, now 2 0 and 0. Probably see Ice here. Go oh, we'll try to win his Ricky lane. I bet you he will gank it really soon. You better. Especially if it's a good 8 minute rune. I, I, if he gets like a haste rune or something like that, I. It's Oh no, DJ Curry Spirit came into uh, the Wisdom Rune spot to try and contest it at no HP, and it's just gonna die. What? Well, okay. Maybe? Dead, though. Deny yourself. He uh, tried. Unfortunate. That's a uh, bad trade for him. Oh, shit. Regen on the Primal Beast. Carrying a whole level on the uh, Razor here at this point, by the way. He tried to go on him too, and he Razor ulted and linked him and survived, and then he had like 10 HP, 10 mana, and the regen rune was right there, so. <laughs> very unfortunate if you're Razor. But very fortunate if you're Primal Base. Ice, always lucky. 
That's why they call him Lucky Ice. Really? They call who calls him that? You know they do. Uh, who are they? Um, the people they call him it. Absolutely not what I expect. Okay, well you I'll would, buy you that. Know. They go to a different school. My nose getting dope. Lambert. Lambert. <laughs> My uh, Lambert's oh, dying. Oh, oh. Double kill on the bot lane. Uh, that's maybe tip worthy. He got all his mana burnt. Go ahead, Wombo, and he was sad. Con El Wombo Combo Perfecto. Bottom tower is under attack. Oh my god, I went up hill. And Razor, oh. Uh, he cancelled his what? ult. Unfortunate. He would have still died if he didn't do that. But what can you do? Uh, can we, can we, can they start calling ice something else? Because that was cringe ice right there. Yeah, they, are, they might change the nickname. Holy smoke. Oh, he's dead on Venus. Yep, getting run over here again. It is a bit unfortunate that the guy on uh, on the dire who's doing the best is the guy who looks like he's going to have the worst game of the three cores, but you know how it goes. It might not be that bad. I think this rookie's going to get his defusal blade and he'll get BKB like pretty close at the same time, and they're just going to run at him. And it's going to be him being anti mage. Four v five. Yeah, him being anti mage. I do feel like the Ricky feels like super behind. I feel like there's a very good chance. That's like, Ricky yeah. has found the anti-mage. And oh, it's not no. gonna get him! That's unfortunate. Goes it alone, does not get the guy. But I have a very good feeling that the Ricky might find himself being a little behind. Might find himself, like, killed whenever they go out and get somebody in kind, which is not great. I mean, it's Sonic for Ice, though, right? Like, uh, Ice was there... Ramanolo! Not hunting for ice, but getting on crushed. Of okay. Oh. Atlanta. And while well, that's happening, up. yeah. Okay, so both sides just lose two. On one hand, it's uh, mid and the pause five. On the other hand, it's the mid and the pause three. So overall, a victory for the radiant there. Yeah. Especially considering that it's the. Uh, Especially considering it ended Ice's uh, little spree. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Not much of a spree, but a good chunk Radiant's of gold there for it. Yep. It won't show us a fight recap though. It refuses to give an I accurate have the recap. Report. It gives me a recap, but only for the. Oh, okay. Charges in, just runs right over the centaur there with the uh, primal beast. Bonk, bonk. Nice. Walk, walking into the Roche pit. Roche wasn't even home. <laughs> He wasn't even here. Radiance middle tower. Do support still at mid? Oh, okay. Very spice is gonna get swapped to dub. What? One support at mid. Yep, just barely so. dies. If only he had a, uh, if only he had a magic stick, he actually lives that. Lots of pings going on. People are ice is very impatient. Wants to get going here. Ricky wants to use his shield room to go hit a camp, but has been persuaded away from it. He's like 20 gold from Diffusal. I don't think he wants to fight until he has it, but I think they're going to go anyways. Yep. Ricky coming in on the back, trying to get rid of the, uh, trying to get rid of the VS early in the fight. It's really tough though, he lacks the damage. Oof, Primal Beast. Flims the razor down is going to get the uh, get the Dawnbreaker KO'd there. Actually misses misses the razor, but lives anyway. With just a mere 30 HP. Very scary moment for the Primal Beast, but he does uh, come out on top for that. Take a look at the net worth chart here. Kind of uh, disparative compared to what the actual last hit show due to all the kills that are happening. Okay, I didn't even see that happen. Kind of disparity from uh, the last sister due to all the kills that are happening. You know, Ricky is in fourth place for last hits. He's second place for net worth. Primal Beast in third place, first place on the charts. You know, even Centaur Warrunner is uh, okay. He's second place. 
So he's he's just a little down from where he is, but still. Razor notably pulling up far behind anyone else. Nearly a thousand gold down from uh, the second lowest. Yeah, Razor does not have a game right now, and Primal just got BKB, and Ricky just got Defusal, so I think the pressure's gonna be on Radiant right now. Speaking of pressure, here comes a little bit from uh, Ice here. Charges right down this lane, but uh, Space Cowboy team says, why are we even up this far? And just goes back behind T2. Goes uphill, sits under a bunch of dire vision for a minute. Romanalo, somewhere else, is not at Vitlord Express, is doing a uh, stack over here, probably not. As is Vale, as well. Ooh, that was interesting. Centaur World yeah, with a one inch. He had the, uh, he had the short blink on him there. Old. This is, uh, this is Primal Beast, 9 second BKB, all he's gonna do with it is die! No, he's oh, barely he living. Bitlord tried to oh, take the Bitlord Express bro. and get out, but... Is oh, not nice. done. Okay. Oh, drink your bottle. Get him. You don't have any range. Now he's looking for Roche, and Roche still isn't help. Oh, uh, well. Double kill. Two for one trade Three. there. Not, not good. Good for Razor. Yep. Good for Razor. Does get him back in the game. Feels like the wizard team's having some, like, communication issues going on at this point. That's not the first time that we've seen two simultaneous, like, one two-man, one three-man play happening on completely different sides of the map, and one just falls apart. Yeah, uh, Primal Beast needs his supports, I think, with him making these plays. Supports are with the Ricky. Yeah. he can make, can be, like, by himself and be alright, but I think the... Primal Beast has, has to really commit to kills. Up. Oh. Bonk. Bonk. Goodbye, Razor. There is 16 minutes for a 2 mage. That's pretty big. Nobody's even thought about this anti mage for a long time. Like, this is a bad, like, this is a hard and kind of bad AM game, but it's not hard enough and it's not bad enough that if he starts balling, that they're going to be able to do anything about him. Like, if he is, if he gets to be secure in first place on the net worth chart, then Dyer really don't have a clear path to win the game, I don't think. Like, they really need Ricky and the Primal Beast to be sitting on top of the anti mage. Because if not, uh, there's going to be hell to pay. Radiant are doing a really good job with their vision, giving this AM, Radiant's like, tower the ability to farm safely right now. So the kids, he always sees this Ricky before he gets to him. Dawnbreaker, uh, sees what's coming, gets the hell out of dodge. There is at least four people in the same spot now. Well, will be up at top alone. You know, as to what you were saying earlier, Princess, you know, feels like it's stronger for Ricky to be alone, Primal Beast to be with friends. And once again, we're seeing the exact opposite. Uh, Ramanolo? Slightly interesting play there, decided to go mid. Not really sure what that's about, maybe trying to link up with, uh, Primal Beast for a Pit Lord Express, creep bloody buddy block, the on your team sad face. You know, it was rather in low. I believe had a run in with the primal beast there, but he's gonna be fine. Yeah, I didn't see what got his health down. I don't know if it was primal or if it was stacked ancients. Could be this either. He doesn't really have the stats to, to take stacks right now. He is so second he like place on the net worth chart now, so that would do it. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer just gonna get bot T2 for basically free. Nobody is even thinking about doing something about it. Primal Beast just wants to fight. Look at this clear disconnect on the wizard team. Like, Primal Beast is just so hungry to just get out there and just start whacking dudes, and nobody else is even thinking about it. Was it supposed to be a, a, a bold wave? What was that? I don't know. The uh, everyone's playing with Lambert. It's so weird. Yes, Primal should also play here as the solution. 
reasonably, but I mean, not much to be gained at this point, because it's like, all they're just going to do is just get the last 500 HP of this T2 down. Okay, no, the Radiant is finally starting to move down here to try and address this. Here comes the Primal Beast. He has his BKB. He's not popping it. Where is my, where is my DD, Primal Beast? There it is. It comes in super late. He's already most of the way dead. Just time to die. That was not great. Lambert is going to at least clean up pretty well here. Though, so does Eno. You know, might need to be cautious here. I think you can get caught if he's not careful. So weird. Alright. It, it kind of worked out, I guess. Oh, yeah, you know. kind of. I feel like Anti Major being the sole survivor means even though that Radiant team lost less guys, or lost more guys, I do feel like I favor them to win that. Really cannot let Anti Mage have, like, as anywhere near as much of a game as he is. The, uh, that, that was very unfortunate. If Ice just pops that DD at the very first, like, moment he can, that fight goes way better for the Dyer. That's super unfortunate. Yeah, there was, like, three guys that took, like, half their health pool and damage from him. And, uh, they probably would have been, like, bursted instantly at the beginning of the fight. If yeah, the... DD going. You know, it's like I said before, the Primal Beast is, like, uniquely well-suited for DD. Because, you know, he gets... He gets... His right click damage gets amped, and his uh, his trample damage now gets amped, and like it's just like double better, right? It's like a major, major upside there. Ward War is going on here in the bot lane. Dyer still trying to take control of this territory. At this juncture, it might be uh, might be a. S Slight waste of their time to be contesting this Sar, considering they're not really focusing on going on anti mage, and he's not even here anyway. So they have the shard up now on the CM, that annoying thing. Lambert is now the one. Okay, they have switched things out. They are now, you know, bringing the whole team together around Ice, while Lambert is the one getting the solo farm. What better? T2 bot does go down. The uh, Radiance T2 bot, I should say. Pitlord Express. This is an interesting play here. He's going in a little crazy, I think. His team can't get to him very quickly. Yeah. They get half of uh, Space Cowboy's HP, but that's it. I don't know if people actually go through that. I guess that was just a bluff, you know, just put up the big scary gate to make everybody run away. It's a, it's a valid way to play the to, to use that skill as the uh, pit lord, I guess. One thing I often like is uh, here's a funny pit lord strategy for you. It's like when your puzz one is like in the trees, right? Like run trying to get away from something. Put a fiend's gate like close to, but not actually where he is, and all the other guys will just start running at the fiend's gate. Like he's going this way. Always fun. Five guys uh, at the Roche pit right now. They're getting they're getting scanned for it, though they aren't really doing anything about it yet. Five guys, but no burgers nor fries there. Oh, they'll make they'll make some Roche burgers at the end of this. Somebody needs to for the, take uh, this eight roach so Lambert can hit it on the back side. There we go. It keeps spinning around. Dying going to mid here. Oof. Wizard barely getting away with us. Roach has finally died. Everyone starts TPing mid. Man, this would have been an awesome time for a Pit Lord Express, actually, because everyone TPs so slow. That the Radiant just gets to right click away. Radiant is just not letting ha the Dyer have any kind of engagement. Like, any time a fair looking fight seems like it's about to brew, they just start right clicking bound, and that's kinda it. Razor considers T being home, changes his mind. Primal Damn. Beast getting hammered over here. Oh man. My He's eyes. super dead. <laughs> Hits that BKB too people. late. Battle Fury, oh boy. All they get for that is one. 
Lambert's dead? Question mark? No, he's Manta. Doesn't have mana. Okay. Don't die twice, Lambert, please. Yeah, he's just sitting under a sentry right now. It would be uh, funny if he got this kill, but... There we go. They, why did three of them run a wizard and this is really odd? Yeah, Ray's, Ray is uh, Lambert was about to spawn. So he didn't get the ZM at the very least. It feels like a little bit small change compared to the uh, oh, prospect of the double kill. Still, even with the funny tip, even with the, the ADHD moment there, that was still a massive disaster for the wizard team, all things considered. I this... think the he's getting a little greedy with his BKB and Primal. Yeah, he's got a, he's getting, he, he got like stunned for like half his health. Oh. He, ha, greedy with his resources in general. You know that's that that was the immediate follow up to a uh, fight that was like, you know, not in their favor because he didn't hit his, uh, his double damage fast enough. Centaur all coming out here. Primal Beast with the invis and looking for the anti-mage here in a field of sentries. Has got him. His only nearby friend is the... Oh. His only nearby friend is the undying, which is completely useless at killing him in a, in a smoke gank. Very unfortunate. Okay, look at a razor. Wizard team, uh, aggressive reconnaissance playing out here. They're going to be board. looking at Centaur. He does not have ult. Yeah. It's pretty dead. Yep. Five on one, baby. Fortunately, this has brought everyone to the fairly dead bot line. They're going to have to trudge their way back. I think this game turns when they go up pull and Rookie Streak gets under by anti mage. Oh, he's got TP out just in time! Somebody forced nice. out of him. Easy. Radiant, uh, the Dyer has such bad problems actually getting anyone in this game, okay. it's insane. Am is dead. No, he's not, oh, he no. just. Yeah, yep, just Manta still gets away. Nice. I don't really have enough actual stuns to keep him in the smoke cloud. I think he needed, uh, I don't know, I guess. He manted, he manted out of the smoke cloud, so he got lucky, I guess, where, it, where he came out. He's not really credibly going to get a kill on him until, uh, the Skull Basher comes out on Ricky. He's just got too much ability to just leave the, to freely leave the smoke cloud until then. Like, even if that, even if he hadn't manted directly out, out of the smoke cloud, he did just get rid of all of their stuns. Like, outside of the Primal Beast stun, which was used on somebody else before that. Yeah, they stacked them up a little bit. Oh, Ace through in here. This'll come in handy. He also has a Zaganim Scepter, he just revealed that on a wave. Centaur Warrunner, here is the Primal Beast immediately. Just gets the hell out of dodge. Real Beast looking at a Lotus Slurp here, which is interesting. I don't know exactly how effective it is in this game, but it is interesting if nothing else. Pit Lord has finished up a mech. Looking at uh, putting on some Greaves. Anti Mage gets a Nullifier. He wants to kill that CM, I think. Radiance bottom tower Probably. I want to add, it feels like a very big item for uh, what is right now a pretty small hero, but on the other hand, it's not like he's like, not killing the Ricky, right? So. I would say he probably should get a BKB on uh, AM. At, the, at this point, it seems like he is uh, totally I mean, fine without, to be honest with you. It, it's, I think it's one of those items where it seems like you don't need it until you do need it, because uh, Ricky gets like a bash or something like that, and you're really sad. Or he, kill, he can insta-kill your losers like a Daedalus. 
Yeah, I would, uh, I would be more inclined to go with that if Ricky was not, like, starting to feel like he's falling behind, but he kind of, oh my god, he's going to dive Tormentor. Yeah. This no. Is perfect. No, don't be Princess. Don't be Princess! Okay. <laughs> they can barely do Tormentor at this point, it's really weird. The, uh, the, the Undying <laughs> does die, and then he gets the Shard for it, which is nice. He lowered his net worth, so he had a higher chance. It's true. Strategic, uh, strategic play there from the Undying. Unfortunately, he didn't lower his net worth below anybody, but you know how it goes. Kind of a wasted smoke here from Radiant. Well, that was going on. Yeah, just not sure where the Dire is, assuming they were, uh, out on the offensive somewhere, but was not actually true. But they didn't waste the time exactly. Anti Mage is now 2k, nearly 3k actually, about second place, which is pretty grim looking. Hey, Ricky has eggs now. Do they just not take the Anti Mage seriously? I don't know what this is here. They just really. They had a very flippant attitude towards them for what felt like the whole game, and now it's, it's starting to look like they're. The, the wolves are really closing on them for it. I thought they were gonna just run at them earlier. Yeah, I. Based on the that, heroes they picked. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking they were just gonna like the the strategy for the wizard team this game seemed to be at its core just find anti mage and run at them over and over. They didn't have a great way as a unit to stop them from doing that. It was an interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know why Primal Beast felt the need to like leave here. Assuming, I guess, that there's more guys than th just this, which was not true, at least when that started. The Radiant did eventually get here, but it took a very long time. Oh my god. Khan El Wombo come to prevent you. Radiant disengages okay. yet again. Nice. This is That's so unfortunate. Old. Like, uh, the, the, the Space Cowboy team has not given Dyer a single fair fight the entire game. Every time the Dyer have been in a good position to even get a pick, everybody just right-clicks Fountain and everybody always gets away with it. Yep, they're just not honorable. They have no honor. It's true. Dyer's structures mm. are fortified. I think a fight's about to happen. Maybe. Any Mage is a little deep here considering the amount of friends he has. Lost about half his HP. Oh no! Primal Beast! Pick him up, Primal! No! <laughs> oh, the swap. Oh, that's so sad. Anti Mage gets away f with it. Centaur and Undying are the first ones to fall. Just get completely hammered by this attrition here. Oh, oh the Razor. Show. Razor. Hello. Barely living. Dead. Oh no. Hello, my friend. Okay, he blinks oh, out of the last possible out. second. One Holy. for one trade. Lots of crap. Dying. Lots of crap for a 1v1 trade. Or 1 for 1 trade. This is a yes. win for the uh, Dyer, who are at the moment down net worth wise and traded this as BKB. a 4v3. He needs this BKB like he would have been dead twice in that fight. If not for weird luck. Yeah, he just. If the, if the Venge stun didn't hit Ricky when it did, he was 100% down. Like when he went in, he like blinked in on the the razor, I think it was. And the Venge Sun followed him. He he blinked in on the razor. I under it was like at towards the end of the fight there. But the, you like mean the Ricky or the... Get, get the yeah the Ricky blinked in. Okay. And then he got Venge stunned like instantly, and if he didn't get Venge stunned, he was 100% gonna kill AM. Yeah. So scanning. It uh, almost feels bad, man. He's almost got BKB now though, so it should be alright. Uh, aggressive TP for my racer. He's... Alright, they're fighting. Yeah, they got the Centaur ult in here, they're trying to not oh, fight. Nullified. Double kill for anti-mage. Yeah, you could say that. Rest in peace. Wizard bought a ghost scepter even though it can get nullified, said. Wait, bought a- he had the ghost scepter before the nulli came out. Oh yeah, that's true. But it's still sad. Radiant now gets to just freely do Roche. Takes out the support line for no casualties.
This is the freest Roche ever. Can't even think about doing anything about it. They can farm up, but they're not the late game team, so that's hardly a consolation. They don't even have this T1 top. Might have been the thing to do during that, perhaps. Yeah, they have a TV now for a second life, so what happened last fight shouldn't happen to him again, in theory. I think what happened to him last fight is just done happening at this point. I think uh, they're starting to pull ridiculously far ahead. The net worth advantage is not much. Make no mistake, but it doesn't it's need to be. what they're doing right now. It's working, going though. Deep. It's coming in on the okay. back. The Dawnbreaker is going to fall working. instantly. It's like one of the most insane goals ever. Animate's still deep in. Animate's kind of in a 1v5. He's out, he's out of Hello, mana. my friend. He just pops immediately. This is Ice is leaving? Oh no. Ice oh, is Oh no, he's uh, looking leaving. for him. Oh my god, call it guys. The second life, uh. Support line gets cleaned up. He loses the Centaur War Runner for it. And wow. uh, <laughs> here comes the one. Them, one v five them under their tier, their tier two and one. Yeah, okay. the wheels have definitely fallen off the bus for uh, Dire at this point. I think um, they played an early game team like they weren't playing an early game team, and now they're uh, they're feeling the pain. It's late game, and the actual like road to any kind of victory is looking really slim. Ricky needs like some butterfly item or something. Where's he gonna get that kind of hope. money? I don't know. It's, I think it's his only hope now. He needs he needs our Daedalus or something. He needs like big damage now. Oh, Ramanola, quick! Pay Lord Express the Wisdom Rune. Yeah, I mean, if he wants to do more than what he's been doing, which is killing people on backline and then running away as he loses a fight. I mean, the, the downside is is that the time he takes to get Butterfly, Anti-Mage also gets another probably larger item and just back to square one, right? Am just got his own bash here, so he's about, I think, like an item and a half ahead of Ricky. Yeah, he's about 7k up at the moment. As was team, in particular the Centaur War Runner, still quite far behind, but it doesn't feel like it matters that much, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's a year Centaur. It's like, what's your what's your job? You're the guy that spreads butter. I mean, you're the guy that blinks stuns. Presses R. So. Yeah, that's kind of it. This is one roll in this game, he is well qualified to do it. Pitlor got his Aghanim Scepter, which is an interesting toy to play with on this specific issue. Like, it will help a lot with the specific issue they've been having of the Radiant just being able to so freely engage. Being able to put three big fat pits up that make everyone inside slow as hell is a quite nice thing to have. Centaur War Runner gets away with it again. They at least bait out the, uh, the Centaur ult there. Primal Beast is nowhere close to anybody on his team, nowhere close to anything. He's trying to build up a heart here. I have questions as to how much that actually helps. I think he needs more of like a BKB. So he can not... Yeah, Primal Beast up. needs its second BKB is what he needs. Oh, I thought you said Centaur. I'm so, I'm so <laughs> crazy. He needs, you know, I don't know. A cent did you, did like you, three. uh... Did you see U.S. Danny sell his BKB earlier this season? No, that sounds like a Danny thing, though. Did he sell yeah. it to buy another one? No, he he, he did it by accident. <laughs> he was trying to sell another hey, thing uh, in his inventory, and Wizard is you know, like, dead. Uh, he's not dead quick Great enough, Isol. though. Not Isol. Great Ice charge in. Dude, she let it snow the whole time. Yeah, she let it snow the whole time, and the, the the damage gap at this point is just so intense regardless. I still lose three for literally nothing, actually. I thought maybe at least he's going to get the centaur. Nope. Yeah. 
We're gonna waste a lot of time, at the very least. Four for nothing, actually. Ricky's gonna waste some time, but, um... He is probably not going to die. He also definitely not gonna get any kills. But, yeah, he didn't even get, like, the backline kills he's been getting in that fight. They just lost... Two cores for oh, rushing. Shout out to Howler and Hulk who have joined us in chat today. Oh, I... Only H names allowed. True. Dyer's oh, Lambert top top uh, top finally got the top T1. There's that. Dawnbreaker's got a gem. So there's that as well. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has I think fallen. Dyer's only hope now is to just cut waves and pray for 95 minutes. Oh, maybe not. There's no mana on this guy. BKB. Yeah, he doesn't even have mana for the BKB, which is awkward. They do uh, swap him out, though, so he is A-OK. -okay. Even with all that drop, they got nothing for it. This tombstone is in a pretty bad spot, unfortunately. Even with all that dropped, they still got nothing yep. done for it. Go a level 20 Ricky and a level 26 anti mage. I don't know. Those numbers don't add up. Yep. Yeah, Bandit Mage has uh, got his mana void cooldown trait. A little bit different. I mean, he's also like 9,000 gold ahead on AM2 over Ricky, so yeah. it's like in a two items almost. He's 9,000 gold over AM, and at this point, even the Centaur Warner is caught up to his uh, direct counterpart, though he is also going to die. Uh, Centaur, not Centaur, the Primal Beast just like picked himself up there. This Pit Lord Express is actually in a really awkward spot in the middle of this fight. Hmm. This might turn into a good fight for uh, fire, perhaps? Bam? AM did use his BKB, but we're also going to just kill the uh, Centaur for free. And likely Ice to follow. Oh no, Ricky's coming into the back of the line here, so they're going to take out. Maybe. No, they're done. Bye bye! Like Alright, that might. They might. They might need to call it now. They call it guys. there. Oh, ultra kill for me. Give him rampage. Three buybacks. They're oh, they're not cowards. They're gonna try to give him the rampage. Our right, Razor is a playoff merchant hero. Oh. Is what we discovered. You know, team backed and Inno went in. Oh, Razor is uh is up 20k <laughs> at the start of that fight. Inno, uh, he gave he gave almost 2k shared gold. <laughs> okay. Inno, uh, forgot. Middle barracks are under he attack. must have clicked the mini map. Maybe. It's kind of Someone's... bad. They didn't even get a Rex for that. <laughs> That's pretty awful, actually. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is awful, but it's also like I don't know exactly how much that matters. They did also get a, a makes... dieback on the uh, vengeful spirit. It makes the next fight like pretty important. Like if they lose the next fight, they're in a very awkward position. But you don't win automatically as anti mage late game. Like if you start dying, rough. What did Ricky buy? Let me see. Shades of the Lake Raid Devirus. He's about Ricky's going Daedalus. He might. He's gonna start doing some damage here. It's true. And the uh... death's bounty. The anti mage is going butterfly. And this AM's PKB is pretty short now. Six seconds. They might just through. We're going to take Tormentor here. You hey, see, Roche? Princess, they did torment her and nobody died. Isn't that crazy? Uh, I saw... That's only 50% on the game today. That's true. That is true. Another time it happens, Dyer somebody just die. Dyer Dune Roche. Primal Beast taking on his own daddy. Never mind. Family oh feud is over. See how fast a game can turn up, Bill? It's like... A little less aggro on Inno there, or like his team responding properly and this game's over, but now it's like 50-50. I don't know if I would say 50-50. Uh, I, I still, still feel like... I'd still say it's 
I feel, I feel I still feel like if a, if anti mage isn't diving T fives T fours into five guys, it's he still feels very unkillable. That that fight was maybe not it, but the next fight, like if it goes as badly as the last fight did, it's looking awkward. But we I also like have the, a six v five. Which, I like I mean, the, last, the time, last time they had a six v five in this team uh, didn't go so well. So let's see if it goes better this time. I really I like, like the Reiki Express. This is an awkward Reiki situation. They want to they want a base race. What's what's going on here? I don't think you base race this team. Radiant's bottom tower. You don't base race which team? Who, who's got the upside, I think, Princess? I think, AM, I think AM pushes a little bit faster. I think, uh... Oh, Dyer has decided oh, the same thing. They're gonna, gonna catch oh, nobody. He, he, he's just too slow. Okay, anti-mage. Oh, 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 Ricky he was already. in jail. He came, he's up. BKB's up, but nobody yeah, can yeah, actually no. get him. <laughs> it's an awkward time for him to be hitting the tombstone, but he's not getting punished for it, so it's fine. Razor getting it stomped. Them right now. And dying first to fall. After what feels like forever, Ricky first life is about over. Oh, that might be GG. Ricky yeah. first life is up. R Ricky's got to got to put like the weight of his shoulder, the world on his shoulders here. Uh, <laughs> that ain't how you do that. Lambert calls All the Jays. Right. We're going home. Game one goes to the Space Cowboy lineup. This was a communication issue. It was a strategy issue. I, it's hard to say exactly why it came out to be this way. But um, they they had a they had a setup. They had a team. I was really good at running out the anti-mage early, did not really fear anything that the Radiant had to offer early, and they just didn't capitalize on it. They were just, like, all split up between, like, you know, some guys wanted to team fight, just fight the rest of the guys, some guys wanted to just, like, split push. Seemed like everybody's ideas for how to execute that trap were just all over the place, and it did not play out in their favor, unfortunately, for them. I think the, the math doesn't lie. Both times they got Aegis, uh, they all died. Yeah, so that doesn't help. Don't, yeah, don't there you do go. Roche. Problem solved. Yeah, actually, the, te the team with the Aegis lost the fight, except for the one when Radiant had it. No, even when Radiant they had it, the they fight. still, they still. That was when Anti Mage just like randomly double died. Yeah, he, he killed everybody. So all I'm, all I see this game is that whenever there's an Aegis, Radiant wins the team fight. So, brief hitch here. Dropping a couple of frames. That's okay. Either way, for those of you on YouTube, we'll see it. See what happens next time.